the window? Do they open? I guess the first week will be kind of nerve-wracking. You're in a new environment, so we'll see how it goes. Um, a lot of unpacking. I packed too much, actually, so I'm going to be sending my parents home with some stuff. I came up with my dad from Princeton, New Jersey, and uh, all finished moving in. If we strip away all the seminars, all the essays, all the examinations, all the books, all those hours spent on the playing fields or in artistic rehearsals, all those hours you will spend in the laboratories and in the Raider Library, what will Trinity's most lasting legacy be to you? I think that at the end of the day, Trinity's legacy is a simple one. If you are but responsible enough, you are going to take advantage of the tools that will allow you to evolve into adult human beings who will assume your own responsibilities as enlightened citizens, not just of the United States, but of the entire globe. I'm pretty undecided in terms of what I'm going to be majoring. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying some new things out. Very undecided. But whatever it is, it's going to be something that I can make money with. There's dancing that I want to keep working on. So I'll be taking technique classes in that and hopefully joining a few groups. Coming to Trinity has really changed me. It's opened my eyes to so many things. It's shown me that dancing can be so much more than tap and jazz and ballet. We went to York Women's Correctional Institute. I worked with a group of depressed women who were having a lot of challenges expressing why are they upset, why are they depressed, and we created a movement group for them. It was very intimidating. There was also a lot of opposition. My friends, oh, why would you do something like that? They're criminals. But working there, I found that they are people. They need to express themselves, and they need to work through those matters, too. And I thought that it was definitely worthwhile. I looked at 19 schools, and Trinity was the fourth one I looked at. And I just kind of felt at home while I was on campus. You know, I'd always heard great things about all aspects of Trinity, but more than anything, just the people is really what drew me to the school. I live in a dorm called Ogilvy, uh, which houses the members of my fraternity, which is St. Anthony Hall. Um, you know, it's just a great group of people. There's uh, 33 brothers, you know, really my best friends I hopefully will have for the rest of my life. It's a very close-knit and tight group of people that really have each other's backs at all times. Once a month, we volunteer at a soup kitchen in downtown Hartford. It is kind of an eye-opening experience. Um, it's very humbling and it's also very rewarding. Having you know, the opportunity to go downtown to a you know, church and serve homeless people dinner, um, it kind of makes you appreciate what you have a lot more. You know, it's a small campus, so it's more individualistic as far as the teaching is concerned. There's total freedom. What, what, what is encouraged here is for faculty to do what it is that they believe the students need and to do it in the best way possible. In my many of my courses I have students going out into the community through the community um, learning initiative where we take the content of a course and they work in the community. That enriches their understanding of the course material. It also provides for the community a great benefit because the community gets to see different ways that they may be doing things that might improve how their community organizations are working. My most recent book is a book about Bruce Springsteen. It's called Runaway Dream. Born to Run and Bruce Springsteen's American Vision. What's great is that this is a book I never would have imagined writing had it not been for my teaching at Trinity. We worked it out together. We figured out what to read, what to listen to, what to analyze, how to think through, suss through all of this rich material. So there's this, this incredible rich reciprocal relationship that I've experienced here between my scholarship, my teaching, and my interaction with the students that has really shaped what I've been doing as a writer since arriving here. I'm not a recruited lacrosse player, but if I make the team, that's definitely something I'd like to do. Forward! Forward! Are you ready? Are you ready? I 
didn't think that I could get a full education without playing a sport at Trinity. Let's go ladies, cheer each other on through this whole thing, get yourself through it. I've learned discipline, I've learned how to work with people, I've learned how to respect people, I've learned uh, deference to authority, I've learned just so many things that it would be very difficult to learn inside a classroom. Great job girls, Claire, way to lead, way to lead. I think that it's very important, and so many philosophers agree with me, that the mind and the body work hand in hand, and one without the other does not equal a whole. I don't know, it's just great. It's just such an, it's an indispensable opportunity, and I'm just so happy I actually came here to play basketball. I just really hope that um, when I come out of here, I'm just going to um, really be into a lot of different things. I'm going to be able to um, just kind of change something, change, not change the world, I don't want to be cliche about it, but really feel like I can do, I'm not just one person, that I can do a lot of different things. I got to do this project over the summer, last summer in Turkey, uh, which benefited a lot of people, I believe. And the project itself, it's about um, giving health screening to primary school students and at this one particular primary school in my city back in Turkey and uh, we created medical databases for them and then the final stage was to create this health clinic um, so we established that starting from you know a break. I really didn't think that it was going to be such a big deal um, I thought it was just a project that I would just finish, but it actually turned out to be a lot bigger. Um, it was it was recognized by the press, so it could reach all the other 80 million people in Turkey. Trinity is a place where you can find any kind of source. There was the Student Initiated Research Grant, which actually made my dream come true. I guess I've just really matured more than anything over the last few years, you know, in all aspects of life. I decided to come here because I had the opportunity to play basketball, but it wasn't, it wasn't something that got me out of my studies, it was something that connected it. I found that working with people and collaborating can bring out the best in you. What I see from all my friends and everybody else at Trinity is that everybody has something in mind that they want to accomplish when they're here. This is what Trinity has done for me. This is what Trinity has done for me. This is what Trinity has done for me. This is what Trinity has done for me.